from my disorder to daughter. Yet the Israelites will be like the sand on the seashores which cannot be measured or counted. In the place where it was said to them, You are not my people, they will be called children of the living God. Hosea chapter 1 verse 10 My sophomore year of college was a time of intense spiritual battles. Ever since I was 12, I had given in repeatedly to a specific sin. Eight years of back and forth with God had exhausted my soul and I had reached my breaking point. When I look at my life, I saw only battlefields of defeat. The future looked completely hopeless and my past was no different. At my lowest point, I considered ending a life that was not going to turn into anything worthwhile. Yet, the story of Hosea spoke to me during that time. God leads Hosea to marry a harlot named Gomer to illustrate his willingness to forgive his unfaithful bride, Israel, and reconcile. Gomer's second and third children were named La Rohama in Hebrew meaning she was not obtained compassion and Lo am I, not my people. I grew up in church. During a portion of my life, I even toyed around with the idea of becoming a pastor. The contemplation of suicide just a few years later, therefore, was not something that I would have thought possible. Even with all my history, I still knew the truth. I was not one of God's people. I deserve no compassion. However, the Lord refused to leave me the way I was. He refused to leave Gomer's children that way as well. The situation in Israel in my life was utterly hopeless, but God made a profound promise. He said to me, I know your future looks empty right now. I know what you have done and what sins you have committed, but you do not have to let them take over your life. Let me turn your defeats into my victories. As God had changed Abram's name to Abraham and Jacob's to Israel, he changed my Luamai to Amai. It was a painful process. Accepting his forgiveness is harder than anyone had ever told me. Yet, as I look at my life now, my perspective began to change. All the places that used to showcase my defeats now showed me God's victories. My weakness changed to his strength. My darkness turned to his light. In all the places I thought I was alone, he introduced me to his people. I was no longer a disorder when it comes to my battles. I was his daughter. Jacqueline Myers So, what do you think about this story? Comment down below and share your thoughts.